From Supermarket Studios on the Produce Strip, Waffles and Mochi present What's Cooking Tonight? with special guest Michelle Obama featuring Jack Black, this avocado, Samin Nosrat, a talking mob, Anya Taylor Joy, us, Waffles and Mochi, our house band, Timbaland and the Beat Club, and your host. Please give a warm, preheated welcome to Jennifer Garner. Thank you. Thanks to everyone at home. This is What's Cooking Tonight, a not too late show because I've got a dinner thing to go to. Anyway, we are here to celebrate my new favorite series on Netflix, Waffles and Mochi. That's right. It's about two best friends who leave the land of frozen food to pursue their dreams of becoming chefs. Frankly, I learned a ton. For instance, did you know tomatoes are fruits? Potatoes come in all the colors of the rainbow, and cucumbers, they really are that cool. <laughs> Let's get to the news. Did you guys hear this? After a decades-long relationship, macaroni and cheddar cheese finally split up. Ah. Yeah, Macaroni told friends, he's no Gouda. He'll find someone. And finally, a new study suggests that eating an avocado daily could help your overall stomach health. They're also reported to be the most handsome fruit. Okay, who's on cue cards? <laughs> that is strike two, Marvin. Strike three and you're toast. You did it. I did. We got a great show for you tonight. We're gonna talk waffles and mochi. We're gonna play games. We're gonna cook an awesome two course meal, all with the help of the amazing Michelle Obama. Timbaland and the Beat Club, play me over to my desk. All right, big night waffles. Do you wanna give a shout out to your mom and dad? They're a Yeti and a waffle, Jen. They have no concept of TV. Right, wow. Hmm. How about that? Maybe I'll say a little something. Michelle Obama and Waffles and Mochi are teaming up with Partnership for a Healthier America to launch the Pass the Love campaign, which helps families in need put good food on the table. If you visit this link, you can learn more and even donate. Wow, wow. Oh, that's right, Mochi, and even earn super cool badges. Now, tonight's first segment is raw. It's uncut. It proves that knowledge is a dish best served cold, like gazpacho. Ooh, I love gazpacho. It's tart and refreshing, and now I'm starving. Well, hang tight, bud. Before we eat, it's time for... Can you outplay a crudité? Can you outplay, outplay a crudité? Can you outplay, outplay a crudité? Hello, I'm Steve the Mop, and welcome to Can You Outplay a Crudite? The only game show that gives you the chance to prove you're smarter than raw vegetables. Let's meet today's contestant. There's reigning champ, Harper, and actual crudite, and Jack Black. Jack who? Who is a comedian? Hold on, I know you. Yeah, I've been in a few. Oh, 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 oh. What's the deal with butter lettuce? Is it butter? Is it lettuce? Decide. Yeah, that's not me. So, a quick refresher for those of you playing at home. I ask the questions, you lock in your answers. Get it right, you earn a point. First person, platter, or comedian to three points wins. Let's sink our teeth in, shall we? True or false? The strawberry is the only fruit with seeds on the outside. Remember to get those guesses in at home. It is, yes, true! What? Around 200 per berry. Impressive. Oh, come on, you even got my name wrong on a scoreboard. That's a point for Harper, a point for our crew to take, and a rough start for Jack Black, 
who definitely isn't Zach from that funny internet show. Okay, does this help? School of Sorry, someone dropped a cracker on the floor. Really hits the spot. Anyway, here's our next one. True or false? The word crudite is French for pieces of raw vegetables served as an appetizer, often with dip. I'd encourage you to look at your opponent, a crudite plate. Obviously a trick question. Jackie's coming backy, and you're gonna wish you'd never been planted. You too, Sparkles. Next, and maybe final question, true or false? Potatoes have eyes. Ha! Even I know the eyes are the little spots on the potato where the stems grow. Boom! Always bet on black. True! Congratulations, Jack yes! Black! <laughs> In your face, crudite! Jack Black, master of the snack, is back! Unfortunately, Harper and our vegetable platter also guessed correctly, meaning they'll return next week for a chance at winning one million dollars! Oh, come on! Can I tell you who I am at least? That's okay, Jack. Sorry, we have to skidoosh. Hey, you stole my bits! The skadoosh, that's my, nah. Thanks for watching and playing at home. And now, here's a little how-to from a big what's cooking VIP. Thanks, Steve, and congrats to Harper on another win. One of the things I love about Waffles and Mochi is how we make cooking an adventure for the whole family. So I asked one of my pals, Chef Samin Nosra, to help us whip up one of her signature salads. What's cooking, Chef? Hi, Mrs. Obama. Today we're gonna make one of my favorite appetizers, a cool smashed cucumber salad. Awesome. I've got my ingredients here. I've got cucumber, salt, little rice vinegar, sugar, garlic, sesame seeds, cilantro, and avocado, which is delicious, charming, and enjoyable to be around. <sighs> Marvin, that guac is extra. <laughs> Okay, this part is fun. Yeah, I'm ready. Actually, this whole recipe is fun. It's why I chose it. I mean, who doesn't want to smash their food? I love smashing food. First, you just stick some cucumbers into a plastic bag that you can close with a zipper seal. And then you get something you can smash with. I like a little frying pan or a rolling pin. Good smashing tool. And smash the heck out of them. You just want to go until they're flat. Cucumbers. Like that. All right. And then use your fingers to tear them into bite-sized pieces and put them in a bowl. Mine are pretty smashed up, okay. I'm gonna keep going like this and then I'm gonna marinate them with a dressing I made out of rice vinegar, garlic, sugar, and salt. While we're cooking, let's talk about our star ingredient, the cucumber. Today we learned it's cool. Maybe not burgundy pantsuit cool, if you know what I mean. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> but did you also know it's made of 95% water? Oh, I had no idea. Neither did I. Uh, I'll be honest, one of the camera guys told me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna drain these cucumbers through a strainer I have set up in this bowl. There we go. Make sure the liquid is all out. Listen. What's your secret? Because my mouth is watering, and that usually happens when I look at pasta or, you know, pasta. <laughs> you know, I totally agree. I mean, I love pasta, but a little while ago, I just decided I needed to commit to making all of my foods taste really delicious, including the green ones. And so I took salt, fat, acid, and heat, the four elements of good cooking, and applied them to vegetables and green things too. It's ready now, and so we're just gonna put it on this plate and garnish it with some sesame seeds. I have these delicious toasted ones right here. You could also use peanuts and cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you could use a little chopped mint. I love cilantro. Try it, take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. This is, wow. Shout out to the chef. Chef's mean, I'll see you in a few for pizza time. Oh, I also wanted to thank you for getting me those waffles and mochi autographs. 
for my niece, who's also named Samin. Mm-hmm. My pleasure. Back to you, Jen. Now, before we move on to our next course, two bite-sized best buddies are here to share their top picks on Netflix. Please tighten your aprons, turn up the temperature for the stars of Waffles and Mochi, Waffles and Mochi! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. That's right. Mochi and I are so excited to join the Netflix family. And to celebrate our new series, we wanted to share some of the shows and films we've developed a taste for. You guys ready? Okay, number five. Loaf is blind. Number four, selling sunchokes. Flipping houses like pancakes. What? Number three, yes day. Yes day? Did y'all guys get that one? Wait, 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 wait. Who, who's on the cue cards? Jen! Okay, where, where was I? No. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Number two, the Willow Beats. <laughs> and our absolute Number one, favorite show, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll come back for seconds. The Queen's Yambit. Ooh, sounds like we've got some fellow yammies out there. <laughs> for those of you who haven't watched, here's a taste. They said chess wasn't for veggies. But sure, yams were sweet, but they'd get roasted, mashed, fricasseed in a few moves. Take your seats and be quiet, please. Then the tournament rolled around. Turns out I was the one doing the roasting. First guy, turned him to hash. The second, flattened like a pancake. Third guy thought he had me all figured out till I played him like a tater tot. This last guy, the French one, he was supposed to be the best, but I fried him faster than you can say. Checkmate. So the next time someone peppers you with doubts, tells you you can't cut it just because you're a starchy tuber, well, you look him in the eye, then eat him alive. Oh, gosh. Well, guys, do we just give our best yes. actress now, or? Uh, yes, 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 1,000 times yes. Oh, sorry, we're major yambies over here. You should read our fan fiction. You mean flan fiction? Come on. Uh... According to my schedule, it's time for the main course. Let's visit my friends from Mozzarella to pick up our pizza recipe, shall we? <laughs> Welcome to Mozzarella. You may notice everyone at the restaurant are using their hands to talk. That's because they're deaf, which means they can't hear. So they use their hands not only to cook, but to communicate. It's called sign language. Tonight, they've given us a perfect recipe for pizza. You'll need dough, which is flour, yeast, water, salt, and olive oil. Tomato sauce, grated mozzarella cheese, your favorite toppings, mine are <laughs> broccoli and mushrooms, and a big appetite. Thanks, mozzarella, and good luck, chefs. Hi, everyone. I hope all of you are ready for the main course. But first, can we take a second to appreciate the versatility of the Ava? No! Marvin, you are the pits. What's cooking, Samin? Hello there. This delicious recipe is a classic. Personally, I love pizza because it can be two things. Oh, let me guess. Salty and acidic, or hot and fat or salty and hot. Ooh, nice try. But it's actually tasty and easy, at least the way we're gonna make it. But we are gonna use salt, fat, acid, and heat to get there. Oh, well, I deserve at least one point. Thank you, guys. Here's a fact I love. Pizza dates all the way back to the ancient Greeks and Egyptians, but the dish as we know it today was invented in Naples, Italy in the 18th century. Are became... you reading off of a cue card? Well, someone owed me a favor. Okay, <laughs> we've got our dough ready here, so let's keep moving. I just used my fingers 
to get it to about an eight inch diameter. And now I'm gonna brush it with olive oil. All right, I got my olive oil here. You know, one of my favorite things about pizza, Mrs. O, is that there's so many different styles. What's your favorite style? Ooh, Chicago deep dish all the way, baby. Oh, of course. I, I don't even know what I was thinking, of course. What about you? Well, it's not Chicago style, so please don't hang up on me. All right, not this time, Samin, but watch it. One thing I've noticed is a lot of people use too much sauce. I think you really want to stick to two or three spoonfuls on here. Yeah, it's all about the ratio. Leave about a half an inch, you know, just for the crust on the edge. And all I'm gonna add after that is just about five bites of fresh mozzarella. I like to keep it really simple. What do you like to put on your pizza, Mrs. O? I am gonna try a little onion and a little pepper on mine. Oh, that's such a great combo. I love that. You know, the other really important part of making pizza at home is preheating your oven as hot as it will go. Huh. Mine's been on for about an hour and it's at about 500 degrees. So that means this pie is gonna cook in about eight minutes. Eight minutes? I can't wait that long. Maybe in the meantime, how about we watch an episode of The Queen's Gambit? Ooh, it is a personal fave, but I have an idea. Let's check out Partnership for a Healthier America instead. Their Pass the Love campaign is helping to make sure everyone can afford good food. If you visit this link, you can learn all about it, donate, play waffles and mochi games, and a whole lot more. So let's pass the love. Great call, Mrs. O. <gasps> oh, sounds like we're ready to go. Save me a slice, please. Will do, Jen. Hey, and thank you and Waffles and Mochi for hosting. <laughs> Oh, it's nothing, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks to Samin for all of her help. Oh, my pleasure, Mrs. Obama. Thanks to all of you at home for watching, cooking, and hanging out with us. And finally, an especially big thank you to the one individual that has made this all possible. Oh, Marvin. I need to go deal with that. <laughs> Where's my guac recipe? Let me double down on that. We are so grateful to Michelle Obama for being here with us. We were thrilled to cook with Samin Nosra, to play games with Jack Black from, shoot, I'm blanking. At two, Jim. There, waffles and mochi. I'm Jennifer Garner, and this was What's Cooking Tonight. See ya, chefs. <laughs>